hello, hello. Uh, this episode is going to be the episode that was supposed to happen between um, game three and game four, I believe. So right in between here. Um, <clears throat> I filmed a video. I'm pretty sure I talked about it in the last episode. And it sucks. I'm pissed off. This hot pug HD rocket or something like that is garbage. And um, like it's it like the quality is all right. And I like that I'm able to have a mic and stuff like that. But like I, I had to return it one time and then like because it had that clapping problem and it still has the clapping problem on this one. It just at least it's not um, going over the whole video. It's just like for a little part. Um, but now the audio gets distorted randomly on videos and it's happening pretty frequently now. Um, and I'm pissed off about it because I recorded an episode and I thought it was a pretty darn good episode. It was really exciting. We, um, like we did boring stuff, like looking at all the stats and talking about that, but you and I find that exciting. And then at the very end of the video, we simulated a game, uh, the game that happened before this, um, one uh, Slovakia versus Canada so it was uh, Czech Republic versus Russia and we simulated it and it was so freaking exciting um, but the audio distorts and and it cuts out halfway through and like and it just like just throughout the entire video it's like my vi my voice will go blah, 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 like really sped up and then there'll be nothing and then um, yeah anyways so um, and then there's like really loud cracks and bangs ran randomly in the audio, but it was, uh, I'll tell you about it. Russia in the first period got up to a three, nothing lead, um, go two goals from Kovalchuk, one goal from, uh, Datsuk. So Datsuk had two assists and one goal and Kovalchuk had two goals there. And it was like, it was like, man, I was like, Russia's up to you know three nothing and russia was zero and three as you can see and czech was uh two and one they finished it at the uh in the in first in their uh pool and then um yeah and then so it was uh it was pretty crazy and then the second period zero zero the finish and then we're going into the third and i'm talking about like boys like like you know like this is insane right now like you know russia you know doesn't win a game all series and then they're going up against czech the czech republic who's first in the pool and then boom there's a goal and then boom there's a goal and then i was like holy crap three to two they might actually come back boom another goal three three we're all hyped we're all excited it was intense and uh the goals were one was placanics i think and we're like um um and, and yeah and then i was talking about the i think i was talking about the depth at center in that one or maybe not but anyways it was like freaking hyped and then we go into overtime continuous overtime power play for russia then nothing then nothing and waiting and waiting and waiting and then gold czech republic scores and they win they beat russia russia goes 0 for 4 in the tournament and man it was just such an exciting end to a video and i was hyped i was going um, I was screaming at the top of my lungs. I just, you know, couldn't believe what I just saw, right? Um, just that, that comeback, that excitement. Um, and, uh, yeah, those things, those things happen in, in the tournament, right? You, the way that this tournament works, if there's no, uh, buys to the next round. So if you win, you're in pretty much, right? And, um, you, uh, like you, it just comes down to one game where you have to win, so what I'm thinking is, since we weren't able to look at all the points, uh, we'll do that uh, soon. And what we're going to do is we're going to simulate uh, assistant coach, best lines. Perfect. So what we're going to simulate, we're going to do the Russia versus Sweden game. Oh, yeah. That I'll Actually, I'll go do some of the stats first. Like We'll look at the tournament tree, um, and this is what we're looking at. Uh, Canada versus Slovakia. We finished first in the pool. We're currently undefeated. As you saw in the last episode, we won versus Slovakia 5-1. to one. Uh, Finland finished second and Switzerland in third. And I was talking about this. I was saying I was like I was happy about winning the pool being first in the in our in our pool because I was thinking Russia would win some games. Right. And they would finish third 
and then Switzerland would be last. And I was hoping that we'd never have to see Switzerland again. Right. Um, yeah. And I was like, I was like, please, like, I don't want to see Switzerland again in this tournament is what I was thinking. And here they are. They're going up against Finland and anything can happen. Right. Um, and we're looking over in the other pool. Um right now and it's uh czech republic versus russia and czech comes back to win it in overtime four to three and then we got sweden and usa so two powerhouses going at it and then they're gonna face czech republic and then they'll face us of course um but that is if we can get through finland and uh, or sweet switzerland um so yeah those are the pools uh in the other division and so I think, and we'll go, go through stats when everybody's tied at four games apiece. Uh, just getting a little drink here. Uh, you can see injuries. I know um, player injuries. So uh, Jalmerson was injured. We injured him, if you remember, um, we, I, when we played him as Team Canada. Uh, played against him with Team Canada, and uh, Tyler Sagan hit him from behind, and uh, Phil Kessel's injured as well. So. Both teams have, have some injuries. USA clearly with a worse injury. And let's get started. Uh, this is the one. Um, this is uh, this is going to be a crazy one. So first period, tie game. Zach Parisi and Alexander Steen. Awesome. 1-1 one, one is the score. Quick and Lungfist are your goalies. Power play goal for, wow, look at that. A wrist shot from down low. The goalie came off his post, it looks like. And then... Uh, one from uh, from the half boards. Second period, four to one USA. Wow! Look at this. A triangle in front of uh, in front of Lundqvist and uh, two power play goals. Abdulkader apparently he's on the power play and Patty Kane. All right, and let's do a slow sim because you can always come back. We've seen that from uh oh sweet uh sweden on the power play two power plays if oh and david backus makes it five to one this one folks is over six to one oh rubbing it in the high flying uh us of a winning six to one all their speed all that talent um and you know uh this one look at the shots on goal 34 to 29 but the, this comes down to the power play, Sweden. You got to the power play and the penalty kill. Look at this. How many power play goals? Okay, they got one power play goal. They gave up two. And then you had two power play opportunities in the, in the third. You got to score on one of them if you're going to win. Well, uh, look at the three stars of the game. Uh, two here, I'll remember. Jonathan Quick, of course. Johnny Goudreau, he's been a beauty this tournament. Three assists in this one. And Patty Kane. Dang. All right. And now Finland versus Switzerland. The game of the hour. All the Canadian, uh, all the Canadian uh, team is, is at this game watching. Who will they be facing? Sim game. And the first period, 1-0 Finland. Valtteri Filpula, is that his name? Second period, 2 nothing Finland. The low-scoring game. Look at the shots, though. Uh, S Switzerland is just hanging on right now. Uh, let's resume the sim. Here we go. More shots on goal for... Oh, there we go. Yannick Weber, t uh, one, 2 to one game penalty kill. Oh, come on. Give them a power play. Oh, they are not getting it. Last minute. Oh, a tie. 15 seconds left. Holy smokes. Oh, shoot. I just intervened. Dang it. Can I back out and it'll still sim? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. How, I, I don't know what buttons to push. I don't want to pause it. Pause simulation. Okay, frick. Holy crap. Tie game. 15 seconds left. Who got that? Wick. Whoever this guy. Probably assisted by Cunty. Two. Oh, my gosh. Switzerland. Let's go. This is freaking exciting right now. And two goal by, oh my gosh. All right, last period of play. It's next goal wins. You're on the power play, Switzerland. You could win this. Finland, I'm begging you. Play some good D. We need some good goaltending and get the goal once you get off that power play. Here we go. 
Time six the sim. There you go. Now's your chance, Finland. Put it on. Put it on. And Switzerland wins. Nino Niederreiter scores on Tuka Rask in overtime. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Oh my god, we gotta face Switzerland again. We will not take them lightly, I can promise you that. Total shot, 61 for Finland. Oh no, that's face-offs. Holy smokes, let's see the three stars. How And how on earth is Nino Niederreiter not the first star, but I guess he gotta support Jonas Hiller. 44 saves in the match. Wow. And Wick with a last 15-second uh, goal. Johan Franzen has been injured. Uh, I don't think it'll matter because you guys are out. Tyler Johnson, separated shoulder. That's a big loss for the U.S. of A. Wow. Wow. Let's go to Canada here. Canada. We'll be playing our game on this day. Uh, stop simulation. Uh, best lines for Slovakia, best lines for Sweden, best lines for US of A. They just got back uh, their guy. Okay, so both games are going to be played on the same day, right? Switzerland, USA, and Czech Republic. Um, yeah, we can go up one more day. We'll go up one more day. Perfect. All right. Well, let's go check out 3131. Holy smokes. Dang it, I can't believe we're going up against Switzerland. No, this is awful. This is this is awful. I'm nervous now. I am nervous to say the least. So let's let's just take a quick look here. The three versus the two, three, and the three wins. And the one three one wow. So we got the wow. One three one three one three one three. How many times did I say that? One three one three one three one three. I don't know. Anyways. And man. Good games, uh, the Czech Republic and Russia, and a great freaking game, Switzerland, Finland. Honestly, that was pretty much, If assuming the audio doesn't fucking distort here. Sorry, I'm really pissed off about it. That would be sort of what the Czech Republic-Russia game was, but it was even more exciting, uh, if you can believe it. Um, okay, player stats. So that's what we want to look at, player stats for the tournament. Uh, yeah, we can look at each indiv individual team. Johnny... Johnny Goudreau, an absolute beauty. Seven points in four games. Uh, wow, four and four, four and four. Let's find uh, Phil the Thrill Kessel here. One point in four games. That's not good, buddy. Oh, that's Kessler. Derp. Uh, okay, no points in one game. So now let's look at... Yeah, we'll just go... What the heck? We'll just go to the tournament at whole here. Canada. So our the clear... Uh, first line the best first line in all of all of professional sports and all of uh international play is Sidney Crosby at center with Steven Stamkos on the left wing and Jamie Benn on the right wing um it's just not even fair and and the thing is is you just wonder how they're getting all their goals right but it's because of this man right here Duncan Keith and Brent Burns they're the ones scoring some goals right Ben and, and Crosby only have two goals it's in four games, but still, Keith has a goal per game. It's unreal. Thomas Plikanix there. He was uh, he was a big guy in that last game. Nino Niederreiter, first goal of the tournament. What a time to get your first goal of the tournament. Drew Doughty's doing really well, too. Um, but, yeah, no one competes with us except for Johnny Goudreau and uh, Patrick Elias, sort of. But, man, we are, we are nearly double- Johnny Goudreau's points. If you add the next two highest, so Goudreau and Ellis, who are on different teams, other teams, they tie Crosby. That's how good he is. He is the best player in the world. How long will it take till you guys understand that? He is the best player in the world. In the world. And he's on our team. So P.K. Subban, he's been sitting on the bench ever since he got his, uh, an assist. Duchesne, I mean, uh, Connor McDavid, we got him in the lineup. He's here to stay. I just like him. I just like him. He's freaking Connor McDavid, right? Let me take a drink. Mm, nice. So, at the three-game mark, Duncan Keith was the only player 
with three goals in three games on our team. So uh, he got another goal, and Stammer got two goals in the last game, I assume. Um, but yeah, we are doing very well. Uh, we are not playing our depth lines enough, so Tyler Sagan, I'd like him to get some more ice time. I'm pretty sure he's still in the lineup. Uh, Giordano and P Peter Angelo, they need some more time, and uh, Perry, Carter, like Taves, these guys definitely need some more ice. But, uh, but yeah, we'll look at plus minus here. Oh, we have two minus players now. Taylor Hall joining Claude Giroux at a minus. Um, and then just the best line in hockey with the best defensive pairing, and then your second best defensive pairing right there. Czech Republic, just great. Just, like, good for them, you know? Good for them coming together as a team and winning, beating those big, bad Russians. Uh, oh, that was something I was saying, too, in that game is, um, it, is you can't count on I, – oh, I was talking about – so when Russia went up 3 nothing, I said this is the opposite of what you'd expect from a Russian. You'd expect them to show up during the regular season, but when the going gets tough, they're not there, Right? And it was the opposite. It was they they were nowhere to be seen in the first three games. But now that the going now that it was playoffs, they were scoring goals. But then, uh, the, but then once the going got tough and it was the third period and it was tied and um, all you had to do was you know close out one more period, twenty minutes, and uh, and the Russians were were nowhere to be found. Um, it was the Czech Republic overthrowing them. The ageless Yarmir Yager with four. Uh, the Finns, they don't matter anymore. Oh, Laterra made the Finns. Uh, Russia, you can see, uh, not good enough. Kovalchuk, two goals in that last game. And those are the only two goals he had in the whole, his only points. Slovakia, good try, folks. Uh, Swiss, yeah, Switzerland, here we go. Nino Niederreiter. Wick, where's Kunti, my favorite player? How's he doing in points? nothing so how many guys do have points on their team they're like just barely winning games i guess yeah they they got wick 76 overall sniper nino niederreiter weber man i don't understand how they're winning games but they're just doing it they just play a good strong defensive game as a team it looks like but look how many guys have scored goals that is so that is a very low scoring team. US of A, they got one player, absolute beauty, two other guys who are doing pretty nicely, and then Tyler Johnson. All right. Um, oh, and then we can check out the goaltenders too. Oh, we'll check out uh, we'll check out defensemen just just to show uh, the pure domination our defensemen have. Ooh, four points in four games for Vatnin. But it's all for naught as his team is out. Uh, Mark Streit, beauty. Just a beauty. And then goaltenders. Uh, that is awful. The goal, the goalies have been really bad. Okay, yeah. Uh, Rask was under two. I, I, We had Carey Price. He was under two. And then, yeah. So goaltending has been very poor in, uh, in this tournament. Even save percentage. Like... Rask was the best had been Rask had been the best goalie in the tournament tied with uh, Price but Price's save percentage is awful. Uh so Jonas Hiller has moved up, moved himself up into a decent uh goaltender. And then uh yeah, I'm assuming oh Lungfist has a point. Uh and we can check out the team stats just a bit um and then that will be it for this video as I need to go to the washroom. Uh, goals four per game. Slovakia with the lowest. Sweden, Russia was there. Russia was just awful. Tied with Switzerland, but Switzerland had just enough to nudge out the Finns, who weren't scoring either. There's just kind of these three teams at the top who are scoring goals well, and then uh, not letting in goals. Obviously, we're the best. We're just pure domination at this tournament so far. Uh, and yeah, power play percentage. Uh, we've only had two. Uh, everybody else has had a lot more. The, when after game three, there was a team uh, with four, and so it was pretty close. But looks like in the playoffs, everybody took a lot of penalties. So, and then time shorthanded, um, six times, and we're tied with Switzerland. Woohoo! But uh, PK percentage, theirs is a hundred percent. Ours is right here at 83 so 83 is not very good we got to be a lot better than that short-handed goals for two though then that's the stat that matters all right
Well, I thank you guys for watching. I really hope that this isn't uh, distorted, and we'll sim this game in the next episode, and we'll play it as well. Bye, guys.